<laughs> hey, what's happening, Herpers? I'm Herpin' Hippie, but the snakes just call me Joe, and I'm out here today looking for some more rattlesnakes. And if you look over the edge, I found something that looks a little interesting that I think I've got to go check out, and I'm hoping that I might find some snakes hiding under it. This is where I'm standing right now, and yeah, there's, there's kind of a service road up here. But how in the hell did they go over the edge? I don't know, maybe there'll be some clues when I get down there. I'm hoping I'll just find some snakes on the way, but I'm going to start figuring out how to get down there without following the car's path. That is an old looking steering wheel. now hey buddy buddy you need a ride need a no all right fine see you around I'm gonna have to come back from my water. But I wanted to come up here because occasionally these little divots in the canyon walls will form little areas that will hold water and act like little mini oasises for desert animals. It's often a great place to find frogs or toads. But for just getting some rain last night, it is looking really dry through here. It looks like it goes on a ways up there, but there are easier ways to get up and there was no water in this particular offshoot of the canyon. So I'm gonna head back down and get back to the main wash and see if we can find any more promising options to explore. Yeah, that should be a, be a soft enough landing, right? Here we go. And let the adventure continue. All right, there are a bunch of bees in this bush, but I want to get up to the top of this hill, so I'm just kind of minding my business. I don't know if you can hear the humming. But I ain't gonna hang out here for too long. Bees and cactuses, those are the real things that will give you trouble in the desert, most often anyway. making some progress. I made it to the top of that little wash I was following, and this is what it looks like. There's not much plant life besides choya and a couple acotillos up here and those barrel cactuses you're seeing. So that tells me this is an area that is getting a lot of sun. Could be a popular place for some reptiles to come bask, but it is also lacking the bushes that would give snakes cover and make them feel more secure. So I'm not exactly expecting to see any up here, unless I am lucky enough to catch them on the move. So I was just trying to figure out exactly what type of scat that was. It's a little thinner than most coyote poop I see. And I uh, came up on the edge of the cliff I was standing on. look over the edge, I found something that looks a little interesting that I think I've got to go down and check out. I think that's the remnants of a car. I don't know how we got down there. This is where I'm standing right now, and yeah, there's, there's kind of a service road up here. But how in the hell did they go over the edge? I don't know, maybe there'll be some clues when I get down there. I'm hoping I'll just find some snakes on the way. But I'm going to start figuring out how to get down there without following the car's path. All right, that car we were looking down at is in between those two rocks. That is the ledge that I was just standing on looking down over. And looks like I've got a way down over here. That means I'm going to have to hug the river going all the way back around that way. And I'm not sure how thick the brush is, but I'm hoping, if anything, this will be an opportunity to find some snakes down there, maybe some cool lizards, but we're gonna just have to see what we find when we get down there. I can 
see some tracks going through the dirt here. That looks like most likely cattle tracks to me. There are cows out here like we saw on the drive out. There's a cow farm. You're gonna find cows outside. Well, I'm paying attention to the lines in the dirt right now because believe it or not, sometimes you can even see evidence of snakes and see where they push off the sand with their body. They kind of leave these half moon crescent indents in the dirt. I'm not seeing any here, but it's always something good to keep your eyes out for. Right, and this pathway looks promising. Oh, I see some water. No snakes, but some pretty intense spider webs in there. How's that for an oasis in the desert? All right, I'm coming back here with the trash bag. Next video I do, I'm gonna see how much trash I can collect over the course of the entire hike. I'm giving you my word here because it bothers me every time I come hiking. Sometimes I remember to bring a trash bag with me, sometimes I don't. But if I mention it right now, you guys are gonna be my accountability. I'm bringing a trash bag with me next time we go herping and we're gonna see how much trash we find on top of if we find any rattlesnakes. But back to the trash, that's gonna be way too big for me to ever get out of here. That car should be this way, so I'm gonna start working on cutting through the brush and we'll see what we find. You guys will have a better view if I flip the camera around. All right, I think we're getting close now. I think behind this pillar is where I was standing on top of that cliff. I'm not sure, I think, I think I gotta find a way up through there. Whoa. That is a random hole that goes down way deeper. There's there's like ground level. Uh, that abyss goes down like another five feet. Good warning for me to be paying a lot of attention to what's below me and where I'm stepping. But also, as I get closer to these canyon walls, good idea to keep my ears open for what might be above me falling down. Making some progress. You can see I'm moving back up again. There's that pillar behind me now. And I am looking up this crevice. I'm gonna keep kind of bouldering over these rocks. And I'm hoping that I'm not gonna to have to go back down on the other side of this, because I don't remember the car looking this high up. But things always look higher when you're looking down, so I guess we'll see. I'm bringing a trash bag with me next time. Doesn't matter how remote of a place you are in, humans find a way to get our trash there. And look at that. Who? I guess people could have thrown it down off the top of the cliff. That's probably what happened. All right, fingers crossed. It should be right around this corner. And there we are. Holy crap. Think it's salvageable? God, it's the whole car. And it fell off of that. Any snakes in here? I see some spider webs. I 
I have no idea what type of car that is. Yeah, it's some of the, damn, I couldn't even tell. I was, thought I was looking at undercarriage. I think this is the body of the car. And the front of it up there. Good time to be wondering if I've got, if I'm up to date on my tetanus shots. Wow, was that, was that purple at one point? That is an old looking steering wheel. If anybody has any idea what year this car is or what make even, I'd be really fascinated. I'm thinking that's a truck. It looks like the cab up there. I think this is maybe the, the bed of it. I can't really tell. And I know the camera's got a better view than I do right now, so let me know if you see any snakes down there. So we didn't find any snakes on our way out to the car or now that I've gotten a better look, the, the truck that's out here, but I still need to figure out a way to get back instead of coming back the way I came. The parking lot's eventually in that direction, so I'm just gonna keep heading that way and hope that I don't have to swim across the river. But of course, I'm gonna be keeping my eyes peeled for reptiles the whole time, so let's see what we find. Alrighty. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get through this way. This tree in front of me, I think is acacia. And they have some nasty thorns that I am not too crazy about getting tangled up in right now. All right, on top of being covered in thorns, this bush is covered in bees. So I am trying to just kind of slink down below it without bumping any of those branches too much. Really considering not going this way just because the humming from all those bees is getting loud. But I also really don't want to have to go all the way back up there again. I could end up regretting this, but I'm going to go through anyway. Here we go. I feel like I'm playing operation with myself. I'm trying not to hit anything with tools. I'm trying not to bump any of these branches full of bees with my body. Luckily, I'm not allergic to bees. That makes uh, messing up right now a little bit less of a lethal mistake for me. Of course, a swarm of bees is a swarm of bees, but I'm not allergic to them, so one or two stings isn't gonna ruin my day. All right, it looks like that gamble paid off. And we've got Still a pretty tight trail over here, but I don't hear all those bees buzzing anymore. So it's a little less nerve wracking now. And I know a few of you along with me were enjoying how green Phoenix looked in my last video. And if you were surprised by how green the desert could look, you must just be floored with how green and lush these riparian areas can be alongside rivers that run through the desert. And my favorite reptile are the, the featherless variety. I, I love the classic reptiles. But if you are a bird person, what, what am I eating? It is random debris. I found it in my carpet. I don't know what humans eat. Ecosystems like this can be some of the best for birding and getting out and seeing just a wide variety of species in a relatively small geographic area, just because of what an oasis this is and all the different wildlife species that it serves as a home for. I do hate to complain or say it, but I'm gonna have to start driving further out of town to do these because last week I had to turn the volume off at one point because all you could hear was the construction equipment. And again, I hear construction equipment off in the distance is wild how far that sound travels. And if it's uh, reaching my puny human ears, you know it's reaching animal ears and you gotta just kinda wonder what type of effect that has. 
All right, I might have to suck it in to get through here, but this should be pretty close to the parking lot I started at now. Yeah, it's about one foot, foot length wide in here. See my camera bag's barely fitting through now. Uh-oh, I don't know. I might have to go back through or up. Up doesn't seem so bad now. Just as long as this isn't a standalone boulder and I'm gonna get to the top of it and have a distance to cover, which of course I'm not gonna jump between the two. Oh man, I'm tempted. I do want to see if I can get up that way. It looks like I might just connect to that hill right over there. All right, I'm sitting here trying to figure out how to stow my bottle, how to stow my bag. And if it comes down to it, maybe I'll give it a try, but I've decided I, I will just continue down this way and see if oh, this does work out after all. Yeah, this isn't much easier going down this either. Just kind of wedging. <clears throat> Made it. Unfortunately, shortly after this, my camera battery died on me and I didn't have a backup on me, so you will just have to take my word for it that I was able to find the parking lot again and that this video wasn't edited and posted by my ghost. And don't worry, you didn't miss anything too exciting because my battery died. When the battery died, I was only about a five minutes walk from the parking lot and I didn't find any reptiles to speak of during that time, so you didn't miss out on anything. And if you happen to notice that my voice sounds a little bit different this week, I'm fighting a bit of a cold. So I'm gonna call this week's video here. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. If you made it this far and haven't already, please drop a like. It lets me know that you enjoy this style of video, so I will make more videos like this. I'm experimenting with all sorts of different types of content right now. So if this video was a bore and you want something else, let me know what that something else is in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. I hope you don't drive off any cliffs, but most of all, I hope that you just keep herping.